In this video, I'm going to talk about setting up your file if you have a transfer card to design for our bus lines project. So here's our spec sheet, and we've got our dimensions here, 3.375 by 2.125, and we've got a 0.125 or eighth of an inch bleed. Then we'll also have to take into account this top strip. So we'll go into InDesign. and create a new document and this will be printed so I'm going to go with print. For a width I'm going to put in 3.375 for height 2.125 I'm going to uncheck facing pages because this is not a facing page and down here for margins and these are just suggestions sort of a safe area and for the size of document you have, half an inch is going to be really big. So I'm going to drop that down to about 0.125. And it tells us that we have a 0.125 or eighth of an inch bleed. So I'm going to make sure these are all linked, because then I can change them all once by just clicking the up arrow for any of them one time. So width 3.375 height 2.125, not facing pages, make your margin small, and add a 0.125 inch bleed. All right, so I'll click create, and here's our file. So remember with the bleed, anything that is a background shape needs to sort of start and end at the bleed if you're gonna use this whole area or just a strip of it or goes off one side. You've got to make sure that anything that you want to appear borderless actually goes to or past the bleed. It doesn't have to stop exactly there. It's just got to meet it, if not extend past it. So what the, this doesn't show us is how big this area is. So this is the type that they put on, and we can't design in that area, but we have to know how big it is. So typically, I would just go back to them and ask, like, hey, what's with this? And I tried that before, and they didn't really have an exact answer. They just said, use the template. So, all right, I'll use the template. So the way I'm going to get around that is I'm going to do File Place, or Command D. And I'm going to place that file. Alright, so I just click once in order to place it, and what's great about this is once I do it, you'll know exactly what to do, and you won't have to do this part, but I thought it was worth kind of throwing this in there to show you how I was figuring this stuff out. So because I just clicked once when I placed that file, and I didn't draw a box first, I know it places the document 100%, and now I just have to line it up here, and you can see it meets the bleeds, it meets the little corners, everything's great. So, I'm going to pull a guide down here to the edge of that blue. And from the top of our page, I can see that is 0.2625. So when you make your document, drag a guide down to 0.2625. The other thing to keep in mind is that it, this has die cut corners. So we won't have to worry about this one too much because it's up in the area where we're not going to design. And this one is also there, but remember that these have rounded corners. So you don't want your design kind of awkwardly having like a square corner on a round cut. So you could put something there to remind yourself. You could, you know, draw a little line or something. Just make sure that you remember that's going to have rounded corners. So inside the purple and pink lines is your margins. And anything important should be in there, like the logos you'll put in, the fine print, um, definitely the poem. Obviously, if you have background graphics or anything that's going to bleed off the edge, that can certainly go past that line into the bleed or beyond. So now that you have this file set up, what yours should look like, so you don't have to do this placing, is this file that we set up and this guide 
at 0.2625 inches down from the top. And then this will be your design area. And that's how you set up a file to design a transfer card for our bus line assignment.